Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The time for talk is over as we are just mere moments away from the Super Bowl. Two teams now have a chance to prove they are the best. So now let's go to Glendale, Arizona, where Jim and Phil have the call. Patriots, Seahawks, coming up on EA Sports. We welcome you to Glendale, Arizona, for today's game. Bill, you get to the Super Bowl. You have that extra week off, and then you have all the scrutiny. All the insane amount of publicity has got to be draining before the big game. No, oh, Jim, you know better than that. You and I laugh about it all the time. These players love it. You can't talk about them enough. What do you think about me? Tell me more. We love it. So they can't wait to get a chance to go out there and play today and see who's the best. Hello, friends. Jim Nance and Phil Sims here in Arizona getting set for Super Bowl 49. The last time the Super Bowl was here was a wild one with the Giants beating the undefeated at the time, New England Patriots. Maybe we've got another good one like that in store today. I think we have a wild one in store again today. Both uh, coaches are willing to take chances. They are daring. Sit in your seats for the kickoff. Let's go down to the field for the latest, and here's Danielle Bellini. Thanks, Jim. The Super Bowl can be a very distracting time for players and coaches, so I asked both teams, how have you been dealing with all of the distractions during this run up to Super Bowl 49? While they all admitted, yes, it's easy to get caught up in the media attention, they tell me they've been 100% focused on this game tonight. And guys, they all know what a special night this is, and they want to make the most of it by coming out with a win. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. The Seahawks are back deep, waiting to return the kick. Steven Gostowski now ready to kick the ball and get this game started. Heading out now for his first series. It's first down as they head to the line. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Taken down a yard short of the first. Imposing their will early on the defense with a solid effort on the ground. And we talk so much, don't we, about the passing game in the NFL, but it's still about who can out hit the other one. And right now, the offense, they are winning that battle. Nice run. Always a chess match early in the game to see what your opponent is going to do. Good run that time by the offense. They pick up good yards. Maybe the defense will have to start crowding the line of scrimmage more. Now on the move. The Seahawks now move the chains. I think Russell Wilson loves it when you force him out of the pocket because he is so dangerous once he leaves it. He can run, of course, but he has a big arm, very strong, and he makes an accurate throw on the run that time. Offense lines up here. First down at the 46. And he takes off. When the offense crosses the 50-yard line on defense, you have to be careful now because it gives the offense a little confidence. And what they're going to do here, they're looking for the big play down the field for that quick score. So on defense, you better play safe. Looking long, Devin McCourty gets the theft. season leading the Patriots to a number of come from behind victories and Amendola's lined up in the slot first and ten Brady's able to fake into the line and still has it Brady connects with Gronkowski 
You need balance in the NFL. That's what it's all about. Why do you want balance? To keep the defense guessing what's coming next. That play call on first down throw. Uh, nice throw and catch just short of the first down. Brady has got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Second down and two. They'll go ground. Ball is out. Nice tackle. What a lucky break this time. They fumble, but they recover it and maintain possession. NFL teams, the offense, every single day they work with anybody that's going to handle the football. How to hold it. He didn't do a good job that time. That's why he fumbled. Brady able to find Julian Edelman. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this and pick up those first downs and keep it going. Now first and ten. Brady's going to keep it. Brady able to find Julian Edelman. The offensive lineup includes Julian Edelman, the former quarterback at Kent State. Julian Edelman is not just a feel-good story. This is a good, solid football player. He can be an outside wide receiver. He can return kicks and punts, and he can play the slot. He can do it all. It'll be third down. It's a two tight end formation. Brady's going to take it from the gun. but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. This is what separates offensive lines in the NFL in obvious passing situations like this one on third down. Can you hold up and protect your quarterback to give him time to make those throws? Well, the answer to this one right now is no. And he muffs it. The ball's on the ground. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? The return team, they don't block anybody, but very fortunate to recover their own fumble. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten. Lynch has got it on the handoff. That leads us to second down. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. The ball is jarred loose. And the recovery is made. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit them so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground and the defense recovers. From the one, Brady, handoff, and Kareem is stopped there. The Seahawks defensive coordinator, he's going to be happy with the results there. He was guessing run inside the red zone. That's what he's got. And they were ready for it, and they gave up very little yardage. Offense lines up here. The give. And this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. They are staring at the end zone just a yard away. Pretty goal from the one. He's going to get another carry. They have this one covered up, and it's going to set them back for a loss. Take the points. That's what I'm telling you, Coach. Take the points. You didn't get it done on third and goal. Get three points and keep momentum on your side. The field goal try. Yes, sir. There's nothing like being ahead in a football game, no matter how many points it is, because now you can manage it in a different way, even though it's early in this game, and you make the other team come after you. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. First down here. Wilson comes out in the pistol. Gets the theft. A foot race to the end zone. He's trying. He's caught for the touchdown. Well, I really have no complaints. Sometimes you're going to throw interceptions.
interceptions, but my complaint is the offensive player. Nobody hustling, nobody there to make the tackle, and they return it all the way for a touchdown. The Seahawks are set to return to kickoff. Just past the 20 will mark it at the 22 yard line. They face first down. Lynch is in the backfield. Wilson with the give. Brought down at the 29. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job on the offensive line. And Patrick Chung is able to bring him down. Lynch is going to be tired after this run. That is a good long run. The offensive line was terrific, and he does a good job finding the hole and picking up those yards. Jones in on the tackle. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Breaks the tackle. Lynch is met after a gain of 13. And if you look at the numbers we have here, you really expect to be winning a game when a running back is having this type of a first half. Boy, don't you ever, when you dominate on the offensive side, especially in the run game, you do expect to be winning. You have to go to your defense and say, stop them just one time, give us a chance. And he's out of bounds. Second down here. Lynch is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. To the ground. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Throws to the right. Has the reception all alone. They come to the line, and it's first down. Goal line defense on the field. And the second. He breaks the play. He's in for the touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Amandola is going to test the coverage this time. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. First down here. The Patriots go with two tight ends on this play. They send the tight end in motion. Gets the handle here. Wagner's there to make the tackle. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Vereen lined up in the backfield. Brady able to find Julian Edelman. Well, when you play this cover three defense where three defenders are playing deep, that's great. You stop the deep passes, but who's going to stop the quick ones? Well, nobody. That's why the quarterback and the receivers are having... Really good success throwing these slant patterns. Third and three. Handoff. Marine inside. That'll stop the play right there. The Patriots offensive line does a good job on this run. They show their power. The runner able to go up in there and get a first down. The Patriots snap it at the 36. The ball is out. up at that point. You gotta protect the football on the offensive side. When you don't protect it the way these defensive players can run, you're gonna get in trouble, and that time it results in a fumble. First and goal. 
Going to try and scramble now. He's looking. It's intercepted. To the 20. Well, I'm sure the defensive coaches, when they saw the quarterback break out of the pocket and get away from the sack, they were disappointed. But uh, they didn't. the quarterback turned their disappointment into joy as he made a terrible decision and threw the interception. First down at the 20. They'll go ground and pick up about four. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Double tight end formation. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Not able to get away from Chancellor. The Patriots have an injured player, and we'll take a quick break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots snap it at the 31. Here's the handoff to LeGarrette Blount for about four. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Brady from the gun. And he's taken down. Again, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That time the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Snap back to Brady from the gun. Wide open for the catch. I'm sure the head coach was over on the sideline that time thinking about sending his club team out there, didn't even realize his team. What a job by them on the offensive side, picking up the first down on third and long. Brady's dropping back to throw once again. Wagner's there to make the tackle. I don't know if receivers like this route or not, the quick slant route inside because they know the defense is running their way. But that time, it's a good throw and catch, and the slant route comes up just short of getting the first down. He was looking short, but the pass falls incomplete. That is so tough to do, to be that close to these receivers and able to knock the pass down without getting a penalty. Good job. Ridley lined up in the backfield. Takes the snap. We're about midway, second quarter. It is Ridley. He's in the clear. The 30, the 20, the 10. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. He made it. Brady's going to watch his defense come out here in a moment. He was good for over 70 passing yards on that last touchdown drive. Baldwin tackled down. The Seahawks offense now marches onto the field. The Seahawks line up in the pistol offense. Running away from the pressure. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. Failing to complete that one. So second down here. Offense lines up here. Looking to the right side and throwing. Finds his mark. Good job by the receiver that time. Get that extra couple yards, gets the first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Wilson's got it in the gun. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. That's McCourty making the stop. Now third and four following the run. 
Wilson's lined up. Two tight end set. Here's the handoff and no runner. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Two tight ends on the field here. The Seahawks have it at the 29. Breaks the tackle. Shakes off the tackle. And the tackle by Rob Nikovich. Good job by the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Wilson's on the move. Touchdown and drawing close. In today's game, you know, Jim, you always have to be alert in situations when the quarterback drops back to pass. You've got to think he might be able to run out of the pocket. In that time, the defense not alert for it. Nobody's there, and he scrambles in for a touchdown. He'll take it from the one. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Patriots offense heads on to the field. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Reaches out and snatches it. Taken down at the 27. Quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. Brady is in the shotgun. Throws to the right. Brady able to find Julian Edelman. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. First down and 10. Incomplete. Second down after the incompletion. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Brady from the gun. Defense gets a sack. Oh, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes of the first half, you got to get rid of the football. Nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. Tom Brady under center. Here's the handoff. Breaks free. He's got a wide open alley. credit to the running back that was a nice run for the long touchdown no doubt about it but he is not fast and the defense was loafing they were not hustling that's why they gave up the touchdown the Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick made right around the 26-yard line. The Seahawks will begin their drive from the 26 now. Wilson's going to be in the pistol here. First and 10. Wilson's running away from the pressure. Looking to go down the field here. He's tackled right at the 36. First down on the way. Wilson's lining up in the pistol. Handoff made. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. The Seahawks signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. Second and 12. Oh, it almost picked off that time. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Split backfield here. Third down and 12. Takes off with it. Flag is out. Incomplete as he was looking short.
defense will not decline. They will take the penalty. The coach is going to go for it. Lynch is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Has his man. McCourty is going to make the tackle. The Seahawks use another timeout here, and they have one left. First down coming up. Wilson's going to scramble. Got a big lane. They are running the football, and that's thanks to their quarterback, not the running back. Yeah, you got to be careful, though, if you're a running quarterback. You got to live to fight another day. Run it, get your yards, and make sure you get on the ground before they can give you that big hit. First down, offense readying for the snap. Wilson's setting up now in the pistol. Gets away from the pressure, and no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. This will be second down. Split backfield here. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. Reaches out and grabs him. Tackles made. The Seahawks call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. Chip shot here. And converts on the three. That does it here for the first half. Seahawks trailing this one. Hauschka will be sending this one down towards the end zone to get the second half started. And Amendola is going to run this one out. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Patriots ready now to start their next series. Take it here from the 22. The third quarter begins with this play. It's Brady down the field. No one's going to get him now. The 30, the 20, the 10. Going to take it home for the touchdown. You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. Steven Gostowski's readying his team for the kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Seahawks offense ready now to see what it can do. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. First down at the 19. Lynch is able to move the chains with that carry. They're able to move the chains after that last run. They bring in the extra tight end. Lynch, in a game where they trail, they do know they can continue to run the football if they choose to. However, they need to find a way to get back into this game in a hurry. Well, Jim, I'd say keep running the football. There's no rule saying you have to come back in a game from behind by throwing. You can do it with the running game. I believe they can. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Right. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And Rivas in on the tackle. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they're still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. The Seahawks have turned it up a notch with their running game today, Phil. Lynch has been a consistent force on the ground. Yeah, he's just a running back who never gives up. And when he runs, it's arms, elbows, everything is moving, and he is one tough running back to tackle. The Seahawks.
Hawks put back in the game. And what I want to see here, I want to see some creativity on the offensive side to get this takes it across, and he's in for the touchdown. I would bet first to go that the offense, about 90% of the time, is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power football at its best. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. Amendola is going to test the coverage here. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. An extra tight end on the field for this one. What? Running to the left side. Chancellor's there that time for the tackle. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Offense lines up here. A snap back to Brady from the gun. Has it right on the sideline, inbounds. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. First down at the 42. They'll go ground right there to take him down. If you want to run the football to success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Second down and nine. Grace taking the handoff. Tackle down at the 46-yard line. Third down following the run. And Amendola is going to get set in the slot for this snap. It's Brady looking long. But it's incomplete. Well, quarterbacks know on third down, they got to make a decision and get rid of that football because the defense, they are coming after you. That time, just not good enough, and he throws an incompletion. First down as they head to the line. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. They'll run it here. He'll pick up seven this time. Second and three after that last carry. Wilson's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Out of the pocket. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities, what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Scrambling out of the pocket. The Seahawks have continued to lean on their quarterback's ability to make plays. Wilson's creating big problems for this defense with his mobility. Look, you do come in this game today on the defensive side. The number one thing you need to stop with this quarterback is stop his run. You don't hear that too often, but stop him from running, make him throw the ball. They have not done that here today. Second down and two to go after the running play. Russell Wilson has it under center. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. First down here after the run. Wow, well, looks like the defense encroached. Still first down. First down here. Lynch is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Scrambling now. In the box. Touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. 
now on the defensive side, you got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Armandovas running this one out. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. They face first down. Here's the handoff to LeGarrette Blunt. Tackled down at the 22. Second down now. Setting up screen. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Let's just tell it like it is, Jim Nance, his receiver, is not a very tough guy because he gets hit. It should have been a complete pass. When he gets hit, he just throws that football on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. Third and nine. Ball's loose. Recovery by the offense. Ridley's tackles down. Well, the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football. Yeah, I think the word luck is appropriate here, no doubt about it. Bad fumble that time by the offensive player, but at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it and keep possession of the football. Baldwin's got it on the return. Good piece of tackling. The Seahawks come onto the field for their next series. Wilson comes out in the pistol. Now first and ten. He's scrambling now. Running room. Look at the rushing totals for both sides. Neither defense has had much luck slowing down the run. Well, it's not about luck. It's about trying hard. It's about one-two, and I do not see that from the defensive side. That's why the offenses are having so much success running the football here today. First down at the 19, and now he'll take off. Seeing these stats, Phil, you really look at them and have to go, wow, because both teams are just playing so well on the offensive side of the ball. I know that's what the fans are doing. They love these type of games. High scoring, a lot of action. They're having a good time. I know this, the defense, it's the other way around. They are having an awful time. And picks up maybe three or four. This is third down. Lynch is lined up in a single back formation. Russell Wilson has it under center. Getting away from the pressure. Rebus nearly comes away with the pick on that pass. The defense did an awesome job that time. They had the right defense called, and that time the defender almost picked off the pass. Good job by the defense. Should be what we call a gimme. And the kick is good for three. Well, that time the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. And Amendola is going to test the coverage this time. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The Patriots are set now for their next possession. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Goes to the left. The tackle is made. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. Second and short. Edelman. They break through. Tackle up behind the line. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. It's an empty backfield for Brady this time. 
He'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Throws the pass. The pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. White's going to go back to the huddle and look at all of his teammates and go, my bad. Well, they know it's your bad. Everybody, even the offensive linemen, they saw you were open and you dropped the pass that was right to you. But, hey, that's the way it goes. You know, you got to keep the confidence up. I think he will. And I'm sure the football will find its way towards him again soon. We're through three now in Glendale, Arizona. Back momentarily for the start of the fourth. The Seahawks come to the line, starting this drive at the 28. It's a two tight end formation. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. And he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. The Seahawks have it at the 34. He's taken down at the 47. That's awesome. Every time you pick up a first down, what does that do? It shortens the game and also keeps your defense on the sideline, and they get the, get rested up and ready for their turn. But you got a lead here. It's a small one in the second half. Keep getting those first downs. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Now on the move. Baldwin's got it. And a first. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Looking at the passing numbers on both sides of the ball, they're just not there. The coverage has been good and has been hard to move the ball against those secondaries. Yeah, good job for the defense today. They got a good pass rush going. The coverage has been good down the field. And also, the defense has been good, but the quarterback has not been real sharp. Second down following the run. Lynch is in the backfield, single back set, and he takes off. Incomplete, that was Revis on the coverage. Nice job that time by the quarterback, he gets outside the pocket because of pressure, but not able to complete the pass. Third down now. The defense comes out in the nickel. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Makes the reception. Still powering ahead. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, but sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by them. They come to the line, and it's first down. Gonna try and scramble now. And he's thrown to the ground. There's nothing worse to a quarterback than having an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time the right side of the line collapses and it leads to a sack of the QB. Wilson set in the pistol. The Seahawks take it from the 33. Running away from the pressure. Looking to the right side and throwing. Incomplete. Interesting situation here for the offense. They got a lead here in the second half, but it's third and long. And, and you always like to say, the football is in the hands of the quarterback, so he has to be smart. If he tries to force it down the field, I do not like his chances. He'll throw it over the middle. And there's a drop. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The field goal attempt is good. It's good. Well, when you get points, it's never a bad thing. That is for sure. Good job by the field goal kicker that time. Nice job by the offense moving the football down the field. And he'll start his return. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Patriots now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Tom Brady unleashes the long pass. Almost intercepted. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, 
I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Brady's back in shotgun formation. Brady goes to the Gronk. Gronkowski with the catch. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts him in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Third and five. And incomplete. Didn't get his feet down. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Baldwin's got it now. And they tackle him there at the 34. First down here. Double tight end formation. Lynch to the outside. And that's a gain of nine. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. Lynch is in the backfield. First and ten. They'll run it with him again. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. That's second down coming up. Russell Wilson has it under center. Takes off with it. Throws to the right. It's out of bounds incomplete. The offense now needs to pick up the first here on third down after that incompletion. Wilson's lined up, two tight end set. That's a huge third down conversion, especially after all the failures leading up to this point. Well, everybody talks about the pass in the NFL. When it's third and short, you got to man up and be tough and strong. Nice job that time by the offensive line. They let the running back get in there and pick up the first down. Off the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. <laughs> After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Wilson's on the move. He's got a little bit of daylight here. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. First down on the way. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Wilson's now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. Incomplete. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Second down. Wilson's going to take off with it. Wilson finds Lynch and branches. It's an animal on that play. It's their goal right here in a close game. This offense, they want to take control. If they score right here, that could give them control of this game. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. Wilson into coverage that time, and incomplete. It's third and goal. You don't get it in the end zone. What do you do now? I think you go for it. You call the right play. Give your team a chance to put a touchdown on the board. When an offense drives the ball, they always want to get something out of it. Get some points. This time, the field goal kicker gets it done. He gives them three. Amandola is going to run this one out. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Patriots are ready to take over now. And their offense heads on to the field. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Fights through contact. And 
and that's Chancellor, who almost came away with a pick. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Brady standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Good throw, good catch, and the receiver fights through to pick up the first. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down. Jim, that's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. First down at the 29. The defense gets the sack. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Brady's going to take it from the gun. On the money. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, then, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. The Patriots have it at the 24. And he's forced to the ground. Going for it on fourth down. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. Brady's got it in the gun. That will be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. Out the defense on that play. They were not fooled. They see the pass coming. They get the penetration. They get to the quarterback quick. And that's a big sack down near the goal line. Lynch is handed the football. Dad picks up about three. Timeouts called. We're going to step aside. We'll be back in just a moment. It's now second down. Offense lines up here. Wilson's taking off. And now he'll dip out of bounds. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And here's the pass incomplete. They're going to go for it here on fourth and seven. Wilson from the shotgun. Touchdown at the end. The head coach decides he wants to be the aggressor in this situation on fourth and goal. He goes for it. Nice play call that time. is going to take and so they convert it here on the two-point drop the Patriots prepared to return the kick just across the 20 and tackled at the 21 the Patriots come out for the next possession. Split backfield here. First down at the 21. Ball is out. They recover their own fumble. Well, they got to the quarterback on first down. Sets up second and long. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. And sailing out of bounds. Third down following the incompletion. What a beating this has been as he comes to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a ninth time today. Brady to Amendola. The Patriots trail here in the second half. Brady's tried to keep his team in it any way he can. Well, a couple things, Jim. You can't blame the quarterback because they're trailing. He has been outstanding here today. The offense, the offensive line, the play calling, all good. Baldwin's going to look for space now. He's tackled right at the 31. <laughs> 
first down coming up. Got the completion. And that last play made by Pat Chung. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. Lynch is lined up as the single back. He's brought down. Good job that time by the defense. Not being full, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. First down at the 44. They're going to get him here for a sack. The Patriots decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Split that field here. The Patriots will take the snap from the 35. There's Edelman. Edelman's one of the best in the NFL when it comes to running routes towards the sideline. That time, he gets out there and he puts that inside foot into the ground, breaks outside. The throw is on target. Good, solid game. Just short of that first down marker. And he's taken down. A timeout in charge to the offensive unit. Baldwin's going to take this one from the six. White in on the tackle. The Super, the Super Bowl has been won by the Seattle Seahawks. The Lombardi Trophy is headed to the Great Northwest. Phil, you experienced it. You won a Super Bowl. I'm looking down at the field, seeing all those players. I can only imagine what it's like. It doesn't even seem real. That's what it is. You just, when you go to work each training camp, you think, okay, it's all going to fall away and we're going to get it done. But when it actually happens, you, you, just, you just you can't imagine that it all fell into place, that everybody lived up to their expectations and got it done. What a great feeling.